Welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. Thanks for joining me. We're going to be taking a look at the jeans that sold on our eBay platform in the month of May. I have not pulled every single pair of jeans or we would be here all of June, um, but I pulled all the highlights, just brands I want you guys to be aware of that do well, things that you should be looking for when you're outsourcing in the wild, and things that maybe you shouldn't pass over um, when they come in thread up boxes and things like that. You may see a couple of repeats here, like these FUBU jeans. If you watched our What Sold on eBay video on Monday of this week on June 6th. So we're going to kind of go through those really quickly. If you want more information on them, you can always go back and watch the What Sold video. And I will even have that pop up for you guys at the end. These FUBU jeans came from a thread up box. They sold for $44.99 on a best offer. These are always something you want to look out for. They're vintage. And you um, can see the keywords here that I used on these. Next up, we have White House Black Market. These sold for $21.87. Um, these both shipped in a pen flat, by the way to the buyer. And um, these jeans were 99 cents at the Goodwill. Kind of went over those quickly because again, those are repeats. But here we have some wanna bet a butt. Wanna bet a butt. It's my favorite thing to say. Wanna bet a butt. So YMI is kind of a poop brand and I do avoid it. I pass on it all the time. My one exception is these wanna bet a butt. The wanna bet a butt jeans and jean shorts sell quickly sell for good money um, comparably to the other YMI stuff, but they do sell really fast. So the return on your investment is very quick and they're typically juniors, smaller sizes. So they'll ship first class. These jeans shorts sold for $17.99 on a best offer. They shipped first class and they took less than a week to sell and they were around $2.00 at Salvation Army on half off day. Next up, we have some Adriana Goldschmied men's jeans. These are the Everett Slim Straight. And like I, I tell you guys all the time, use your, use the names, use the styles, use what the brand provides you. Uh, one, because it helps you pick out your keywords and you don't have to struggle as hard to, to think of what you're going to call them. Um, but also folks who wear these jeans or like these jeans, will look for the Everett. That's how they'll search for them. So whenever they provide you with like a name or the style, put it in your keywords, put it in your title. These came from Goodwill. They were five bucks. I took a best offer of 35 on them. And they actually sold within a couple of days of being listed. And they did ship in a padded flat. Wanted to double check that. Next up, we have True Religion jeans. These are size 26. So a lot of times the true religion is going to have just under here on the section on the back. Sometimes this will be like a name like Joey. Sometimes it'll just tell you straight or boot cut or whatever. Um, but you can look there for that. So you know what to put in your title. True religion has the Buddha, of course. And the horseshoe, the red horseshoe tag under the size tag. And the Buddha's on the inner pockets and the horseshoe zipper and true religion on the button there. You can see that as well. Those are all ways to kind of authenticate your true religions. So these sold for $39.99. They did ship in a padded flat. And if I remember correctly, these were also $5 on a half off day. Next up, I'm going to show you three pairs real quick. I have a pair of Sean John men's 38 relaxed High waist. Sean John is a brand um, that, here's another pair, $29.99. These ones sold for $29.99 as well. These are size 40, black. So Sean John's a brand of men's jeans. You can usually get about 25 or 34, and they're going to sell pretty quickly. They don't sit around for very long, as well as Wranglers. These ones sell for $24.99. A lot of um, Wranglers will sell within like a week of me listing them. They don't sit around long and I should be specific. Wranglers men's jeans move 
really quickly for us. However, you can usually only get 20 to 25 for them. So I won't get them unless my cost of goods is like three bucks or less, give or take. I'm not going to pay five dollars or more. Um, for Wranglers because they do move quickly and you get your return your investment back very fast, but it's, you know, 25 and 20 bucks. So you don't want to put too much into your cost. The reason I wanted to show you the, these three pairs together, one is because I wanted to mention that Sean John and Wrangler are both brands that are good um, to source, but one buyer bought all three and we put them in a box and shipped them to them. And we're able to save on shipping that way. I love when that happens. Next up, we have some Zara jeans. These are out of a thread up box, so they're about $1.74. Zara, I can usually get about $20.25 for, but these were unique. These were like super unique. You see these, these are like 70s, really wide leg, bell bottom jeans. So I started them at 35 and I was happy to take a best offer of $29 and they shipped in a pad of flat. Next up, we have these Driftwoods. These also came in a thread up box. A new to me brand, which is a new bolo I will absolutely be on the lookout for, which is part of the reason I just love getting thread up boxes because new to me brands that I would never find in Florida or back in Pittsburgh, um, come in these boxes because they're coming from all over the country. And so I get to learn new brands and discover new bolos all the time. These are the Driftwood Collette jeans. They are super cute. They have embroidered hems and the waistband. These only took like a couple days to sell after being listed. And they sold on a best offer of $40. And their cost was about $1.74 out of the thread up. And they shipped in a padded flat. Another pair of men's Wrangler jeans, $24.99. And they shipped it a pad of flat as well. Next up, we have these Talbots, new tags. These were 99 cents back at the Goodwill in Pittsburgh. So they've been around for a while. They took a little bit to sell, probably because um, you can see that it says um, size four here, but 2P on the tags. So I had to put that in the description that the sizes are different on the tag, on the inner waistband and the actual new tags tag, factory error. And then just put in the measurements here. And size four is a hard sell too, I usually do well with, but they did eventually sell for $22.49 and they were only 99 cents. And you know, a lot of clothes are long tail. So um, they did ship in a pad of flat. Next up, we have these frame lace skinnies. These are also from the thread app box. So about $1.74. These are the lace skinny day Gian, which I put right here. Just like I said, you always want to use what they provide. It helps you out. And um, these are just like very nice jeans. Frame is a good brand. I did take a best offer of $35.99, and I want to say that these shipped padded flat, yes. Sometimes a lot of the, the frame jeans will be lighter weight and can ship um, first class. Next up, we have these Lane Bryant jeans. These also came out of a thread up box. Recurring theme here. Keep sending me those great boxes, thread up. <laughs> so these are super cute. They have like lace on the hems. These are just really cute. So these sold for $23.43 and shipped in a padded flat. Another pair of men's Wranglers jeans, $24.99. Just to give you an idea of how well we do with these. Again, keep your cost of goods low on them though. A Carhartt men's jeans, five bucks, half off day at Salvo or Salvation Army. Uh, sold for best offer of $25. They're size 33 by 30, traditional fit, and they did ship in a pad of flat. Then we have this pair of Michael Kors that came, had a typo, number one. And right there, you can see it. Big old fat typo, big old capital I there that should have been lowercase. Anyway, these came out of a thread up box. This is a brand I will absolutely never pick up in a thrift. I will pass on it every time. It is not worth my time to pick out these if it's like a one one-off or 
me selecting things. When they come to the throw out box, they get listed. They sold for $19.99. Can't argue with that. They are size 14, which helped because they did actually um, ship pretty quickly or sell pretty quickly. And then they shipped in a padded flat. And then the last pair of jeans I wanted to highlight was these Lucky brands. They sold for $21.09. Lucky is a pretty solid bread and butter brand these days. It used to be a little brand, but not anymore because people want to race to the bottom. I always have to get that in in every video. I have to remind people that racing to the bottom is not the way to go. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything you saw in this video, jeans and at all, or plush or anything, let me know in the comments down below. Hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel so, so much, so I appreciate it when you guys do hit that. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to join our Facebook group if you're not a part of that community yet. It's called Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. I would love to see you guys in there. And um, go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.